Hi guys, this is Ruben here, and some of you have some problems putting loops inside your project in Studio 1 because the tempo is different. So basically, when you're on in Studio 1, the first thing to do is to set up a song, which is what I have here right now. So I'm going to go ahead. So basically, once you're in here, um, well, you're going to drag a loop inside your project window, right? So I have already set up a folder containing the Joey Kramer drum loops, which are really nice, acoustic drum um, loops and I'm going to drag one into it let's say the JK07 and we're going to see what it looks like uh, with the metronome on to see whether it's in time or not alright I'm going to turn on my metronome I can see that it's going to be out of time 2 1 2 3 so the metronome is out of time so it's not at 120 and this loop is out of time so how do we time it correctly um, to our project so basically here's how to do it I'm going to resize this and basically now what we can do is we can open up the inspector and make sure that our tempo of the region is set to time stretch now what we're going to do is we're going to hold control and alternate at the end of the region you can see that a small little metronome comes out like that okay and looking at the transients now we're going to time this according to the bars okay so let's say I'm going to shorten up to four bars we're going to zoom in and look at it and you can see that uh, we want to time the hits accordingly to the regions up there okay so I'm going to out zoom this thing and we're going to play and see now the speed isn't a matter right now what happens is we want to make this align together so we're going to do some more adjustments at the end I'm going to go to the end and adjust here by a bit to make sure that it hits the okay, you can turn off snap on off I mean so it kind of move accordingly nice like that so I'm going to time that according to the lines okay you can zoom in further to see how we are doing all right looks quite accurate right now here so I'm going to zoom out and see how it sounds right now three Four, one, two, three, four. Right, now it's on time. And that's how you basically time your loop in your project. So basically, your drum is not going to be so fast. We're going to tune down the tempo right here. Say about mm, 95 or 100. Yeah, let's give it, try, try it 100. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. So this is our time of our loop so what we're going to do now is you're going to open up this thing and basically trim off the ends so we're going to get the slice tool get on the snap so it snap to the bar and just trim off the sides okay i'm going to delete this and there we have it a loop so now before you start with your project and your song you got to change this into a loop that you can use in other projects so what we're going to do is you're going to highlight uh, the loop by pressing P on your keyboard to select this loop, right? And we can also rename it to something else. Um, let's say drum loop at 100 BPM. Okay, now that's what you can do. So the next thing to do now is to create, for example, in your loop browser, another new folder. I can create this and call this uh, acoustic drums export you know or change or something like that so we have this browser here okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this and basically just drag it inside acoustic drums export okay and what happens there you can see that drum loop 100 bpm is right there now and uh, playing this loop at 100 bpm would let's play this Now, if you change the tempo, it's going to follow our tempo and it's going to speed up. If you slow it down, it's going to follow. Let's say I slow it down to about 85. You can hear that it slows down. So what happens now is whatever project you're on, whatever songs you're on, you can always hover to this uh, well, folder right here and drag your drum loop just directly inside your 
folder, just like that. And you, it should follow the tempo of your projects. And that's how you basically turn an outside audio loop into an audio loop that works in Studio One. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Now, see you.